In today's video, I'm going to give you my reasons why I choose to use iClone for my 3D animation. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you want to start out in animation and you don't know what you're going to need or maybe you feel like it's going to be so expensive, you don't have the finances for it, well, I've got some great news for you. I compiled a list of free software and these aren't pirated copies. These are actually free software. So if you are looking um, for all the software that you're going to need without spending a cent, uh, this list is for you. So this list consists of... 2D animation, 3D animation, video editing, audio recording and mixing, storyboarding and script writing. So all the software you're going to need in order for you to create awesome looking animations. Um, so in the description box below there's a link, just click there and I will send that list for you so that you can start animating uh, without worrying about finances in the beginning. So that is a great way. Now today I am going to talk to you about um, iClone and why I choose iClone as the software that I use for my 3D animations. Um, now there are quite a few reasons um, and you may say but iClone is it industry standard? Probably not. Um, iClone is more used for your gaming and not as much for uh, movies etc and I like to create um, TV shows and I am planning on making a 3D animated movie uh, someday but um, I choose iClone for a few reasons and let me give you my reasons. Uh, a while back I made a video why I use Cartoon Animator for my 2D animations um, so I decided let me make a similar video for my 3D animation, um, the software why I choose iClone. Um, I started out, so the first reason is I started out um, with 2D animation and I started out with Cartoon Animator. Um, back then it was Crazy Talk Animator 3. Uh, now it is already at Cartoon Animator 5. So I started my animation journey with 2D animation and with Cartoon, Animate, um, Cartoon Animator. Why is this important? Well, um, iClone is made by the same company, Reillusion, that makes Cartoon Animator 5. And the interface is very similar. Yes, there's a lot of differences because the one is 2D and the other one is 3D. But a lot of the things are the same. For instance, the timeline where your keyframes are and um, that works exactly the same. Uh, the way you move your characters, the body parts, is very similar. So for me to learn um, iClone was extremely fast. Um, I could le learn it extremely fast because um, the interface, I was very familiar with the interface. Yes, I still had to learn a lot of other things like lighting. Uh, you need to light your scene. Um, cameras, um, the cameras works differently because you add, you can add a lot of, a lot more ca um, cameras where with Cartoon Animator you only have your one camera. Um, so that yes, there are differences, but I could grasp the software is so much easier. Um, you may say, but you know, you have to pay for iClone. Um, Blender is for free, and Blender is more of an industry standard than iClone. And yes, you'll be correct. But I also have Blender installed on my computer, but it's extremely difficult to learn. I really struggle with Blender. Okay, given I haven't taken a full online course to learn Blender. I think that is something I need to do if I want to learn Blender. Um, I've only watched YouTube videos and it's very, they assume you know a lot of things already and as a beginner you don't know these things. You don't know how the node system works. Um, so you need someone that can explain that to you and the YouTube videos uh, you need to search for the things and if you don't know the software you don't always know what to search for. So I really struggle with Blender and I've 
managed to learn iClone extremely fast because the interface is very similar to Cartoon Animator 5. So that's the first reason. The second reason, and that's also why I enjoy Cartoon Animator 5, is because of the motions. You can go on the Reillusion website, you can purchase motions. Um, so, for instance, to animate a walking motion is really time consuming it takes you a lot of time but if you can purchase uh, walking motions it saves a lot of time and that's something i do with cartoon animator 5 as well i try to get myself as much different walking motions as i can so that if there's a group of characters not all of them will walk exactly the same it just adds a little um detail to your animation not everyone is walking the same um, so that really helps and you can do the same with iClone um, especially if you're new to animation you're not really that good at it these motions can really really help you a lot in the beginning uh, when I started Cartoon Animator 5 I used a lot of the motions now I only use the walking motions that's all I don't use any of the other motions I animate everything myself um, but motions is really time consuming so I just or uh, walking cycles is really time consuming so motions is a real time saver for me and you can do the same with iClone um, so motions is a second reason why I choose to use iClone for my 3D animations. Then the third thing is real-time rendering. Um, now you will say this is actually a downside because um, you know your end result won't look as good as a Disney or a Pixar movie or what you'll achieve with Maya or Cinema 4D or uh, Blender. And again, yes, you'll be correct. But why I enjoy uh, real-time rendering is because you get a very good sense of your scene, uh, your lighting, everything. Um, so you really, you don't have to set up your lighting and then you'll have to export or render a, um, a image just to see is the lighting correct. And then if there's something you need to change, you need to go back, change it, render it. Um, and rendering as you may probably know, is a really time-consuming thing as well. It really takes a long time to render. So um, that's the other thing with real-time rendering. Even though the rendering does take long, it doesn't take as long. Um, now, if you really want good quality renders, movie, cinema quality renders, um, you can still do it with iClone. Uh, you can get the iRay plugin um, for better um, renders. Or you can export it to um, your scene to um, Blender and you can light everything there and render it in um, Blender. Or you can do it link, um, you can get the Unreal Engine link or, or plugin. Then it links uh, iClone with Unreal Engine and you can actually render everything so much better and it will have better quality. Um, so you can still get good renders through iClone. iClone. You just have to um, have a workaround and do it through a different software. So it is still possible, but why I enjoy um, the real-time rendering is because I do get a very good sense of my scene straight away. As I'm animating, I can see what the light will do and what it will look like, and then I can just export that whole scene to Blender or Unreal Engine and I can just fine tune. So I will save myself a lot of time um, in the long term. So that is another thing. And the fourth reason is I've actually mentioned it just now. It does link up to other software. Um, it does link up with Blender. It does link up with Unreal Engine. You can also um, link it up to Rococo uh, motion capturing devices. So you can also um, do motion capturing with it. If you don't want to animate, you just get the suits and the plugins and you can um, do motion capturing as well. So that's another thing that iClone can also do. It really links up nicely with other platforms as well. And then my final reason, um, this is for me actually quite a big one um, 
because I use it a lot. I won't say it's the best one, but I use it a lot. I really love it as it links up with DAS 3D. Um, and DAS 3D, they release new characters and models and scenes every single day. They've got promotions every single day. I've Over the past two or three years, I've com compiled a massive list of 3D content, characters, and um, scenes. Um, so for me, it is really easy to build my custom scenes now because I've, I've got so many props. Um, so because I don't know, know how to model, to do 3D modeling, this is a very easy way for me to get the props that I want, to create characters and buy clothing, um, of what I want to suit my style. Um, it is very easy. You link it up with character um, creator that uh, works with iClone. You can really customize your characters the way you want. And um, you don't need to be able to do any 3D modeling. You just go on Dash 3D and you purchase what you want. And it with a click of a button, you can import your characters into Character Creator and then from there you can customize it, send it to iClone and it's ready to animate. So this is something that I really, really love is Daz 3D. I've created some videos in the past how you can um, convert Daz 3D characters to Character Creator, how to import props and scenes, etc. So I have created videos on that. It is so simple. Um, so it really, for someone that doesn't know how to do 3D sculpting or modeling, this is a great way. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the characters that comes with Character Creator and iClone. It, it does have the, um, a realistic feel to it. And I like the, the cartoon types of characters, your Disney and your Pixar types of characters. That is the characters that I want. And you can't really get that with iClone, but you can create it inside Das 3D, export it over to Character Creator. And there you have the character that you want ready to be animated. Um, and another reason I don't have it here on my list, but I want to add it is the updates Reillusion has every time with Cartoon Animator as well as iClone is every time they just improve the software so much. So the upgrades is always, always exciting. Uh, it always takes your animations to the next level. Um, so every time when they announce a new upgrade, I am so excited um, because I know, oh man, my animations is going to get so much better. So that's another reason why I love um, iClone as well as Cartoon Animator because of what Reillusion does and how they improve their software uh, with their updates. So guys, that is it. Let me know, do you use iClone? Uh, what software do you prefer for 3D animation, especially as a new animator? Obviously, if you are an advanced animator, obviously you'll be using Blender and Maya, but if you're new to um, 3D animation um, or if you have you're looking into 3D animation, you haven't started out yet, let me know, do you think iClone of what I've mentioned now um, is a good fit for you? Um, it sounds good, <laughs> if I can put it like that. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments your thoughts, ask questions, feel free. And uh, remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on that little not notification bell. And also, if you want to support the channel, make sure you click on that thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithms. So from me, Ion, I will see you guys next week with another video. God bless and happy animating.